Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review pixel extended android 13 custom rom for the oneplus 9 series devices so without wasting any more time let's get started as you can see i have installed pixel extended on my oneplus 9 pro if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is android 13 and the pixel extended version is 5.3 and the android security patch is of 5th november 2022 now let's see what all this rom provides and what not coming to the basic functionality all the basic functionality is working fine wifi is working bluetooth is working and calling is also working without any problems apart from that you only get both fingerprint and face unlock with this rom but the app locker functionality is not there If I talk about the launcher you get the stock pixel launcher which is good but I'm not a very big fan of the pixel launcher from the first look the rom does feel fast compared to another android 13 roms moving on as i've already shown you this is an android 13 base build so you have all the latest and best features of android 13 like more accent color to choose from in the wallpaper and color section you get the new music player widget and output picker and other features so all the latest android 13 features are there and working well if i talk about the safety net this rom fails safety net test for me maybe because of the proper installation but other users don't have this problem all the payment apps like paytm and four pay were still working fine if i show you the wide band security level that is also l3 so that means you will not be able to stream hd content on netflix and other streaming sites moving on you do get a fully working oxynos camera and gallery app all the modes of the oxynos camera are also working fine without any issues the picture quality is also great just as it was on oxynos 13 Talking about the battery, the battery was a consistent issue on this ROM for me. I was getting only three four hours of screen on time on full charge cycle, while on the other ROMs I was getting somewhere around five to six hours of screen on time. So you might face some battery issues on this ROM if you are a heavy user. Now let's talk about the customization options that are available on this ROM. If we move on to settings, there is an option for PE extension, and here we have all the different tabs. First up, we have status bar. Under the status bar, we have network traffic monitor, system icons, customizations, clock settings, battery indicator, brightness slider options. and quick settings option next up we have lock screen options which includes double tap settings media art and ud fpa settings i really like the fingerprint icon customization on this rom under the system we have per app volume control and gesture settings finally under hardware we have button settings and fingerprint vibration settings and last but not the least at the bottom we also get some device extra settings that have options like alert slider customization high brightness mode ambient display gestures fps overlay touch boost and system vibrator strength so you don't get a lot of customizations but you get a decent amount of options which are fully stable and working fine so should you install this rom yes you can but there are better options available than this rom in the than this rom in terms of customization stability and battery example nameless usb rise droid evolution x comment down if you want me to make an installation video for this rom also i make a lot of rom reviews and i'll be trying another android 13 roms subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos thank you for watching